Hey guys, John Martini from jokermartini.com. I'm here to show you a new plugin for Max called Tubing. To begin, we'll go to the Create panel, uh, drop down the Joker Martini, and we'll throw down Tubing. Right off the bat, you'll see we need a baseline and a profile spline. Jump back to the Spline Create panel, and we'll create an N-Gon. And then we'll create a profile, much like you would for a loft. And we'll do, that works. Um, one thing to make sure is to make sure your Z axis is always pointing up on both of these. So you can see here it's pointing in the wrong direction. So we'll first reset this pivot to be zero, zero, and reset the X form. And now we're all good and dandy. Go back to your object. We'll choose our base spline once we collapse that to a notable spline. And then choose the profile. So you can see it mimics our splines here, and you can adjust these in real time and have them update. How fun, huh? And then what you can do is increase the clone count, and it automatically welds all the pieces together so there's no gaps. You can randomize, uh, or you can increase or decrease the radius. You can randomize it with these options down here, as well as the spacing between them, uh, the spacing here as well. Um, auto smooth controls, material ID, flipping the normals, and auto update if you need that. And you can furthermore use this by maybe creating a character that has some, let's say, connections or cables on him. You can always throw down a path to form and put this on there as well. So you can see here, move to path. And then you just increase the clone count so it fits the entire path. And then maybe you want to add some twisting. And you get some cool effects. And that's tubing. Enjoy.